What does Will want to talk about? We look awful. We need to sleep. And Gail needs something. Will's brows furrow as your minds connect. He sees the burning embers of Joaquin's rest. Then Floric's face as she tells you of Raven God's abduction. Hells. Older Raven God's been taken. Who? Uh, Drow set fire to the inn, stole the Duke. You must know him. <laughs> I know him better than most. He's my father. What? I know I haven't said. Our relation was no matter of pride, not least for him. I didn't. Uh, all right. Yeah, then I guess our choice is clear. We have, should rescue him. Thank you. That means a lot. But I wonder. Yeah? What makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? Even the houses of Menzo Baranzin would have little use for my father. I don't know. No, this is no drow plot. These absolute nutters, these true souls are behind his abduction. I'd agree. His absence alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, yeah. he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. I know. All the more reason to find him. The Absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's talk about something else. I'm all for it. Because I don't want to tell, like, he's, he can keep all the secrets he wants from us. Like, that's, that's on him. We don't, we don't need to ask these things of him. My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. Okay. Here. Uh, I have one. What do you want? Robe? Oh. Well. Uh, no. This, um. Mm, you can have that. Thank you. You're welcome. I didn't think you would need stuff so quickly, though. Better? Good gods. What's wrong? It hardly has any effect. Oh, Mr. have mercy on us all. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. What's wrong? Go on. I might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. What oh? I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it, much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself, the Lady of Mysteries, the goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse. And later, even my lover. Wait, really? See, a goddess? Oh, yes. Wow. We enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. And you've been cursed, haven't you? So, how did you try to cross it? I tried to convince her. I pouted, I pleaded, swore my ambition was only to serve her better. She only smiled and told me to be contented. But inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess, and yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. Oh boy. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? Um, oh wow, he actually gives us. I'm intrigued. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it 
is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. And he almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured, then shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms. Until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book. A Netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? And I guess you ruled out flowers and chocolates altogether, right? You know me. My gestures can never be grand enough. That's why I like you, Gail. I'm certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. Okay. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in, into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth. Its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. Oh, I want to read that again. Oh, Gail. Literally, hold on. Uh, you see through, staring down, dread of memory. The blackest weave, its teeth. Wow. How are you still alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. It'll kill you. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. So... What would happen if the tadpoles got... So is there nothing we can do, though? Like, seriously? We might chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner. We might cross paths with a miracle round the bend. Then again, we might not. All of this. It must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. I don't understand why somebody would think that this is a betrayal. This was his secret. And granted, you might not feel safe around him now. I don't see it as a betrayal. Like, no, it's not. It was his secret. Once again, just like Will, it was Will's secret. Astarian. Astarian has secrets. Everybody has secrets, and it's theirs to tell at the moment that they choose, and Gale finally trusts us enough. So, no. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. You're welcome. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice, but if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. 
I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now. Even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. Poor Gale. Poor, poor Gale. I do enjoy our conversations. What do you need? I think we're good. That mighty... Okay. So, we'll go back to these questions later. I kind of think that we all should probably think on the, uh... You know. Knowledge that Gale has imparted on us. Let's end the day. Yes. Okay. Astarian wants to talk. Is that it? Oh, uh, Shadowheart doesn't... Okay. Yeah, let's talk to him. Oh, whoa. there we go. <laughs> In line with a fork and... One, two, three dots. <laughs> Bloody infernal. How was anyone meant to read this garbage? <laughs> Want me to take a look? What are you doing? Staring? Why? What are you doing? I... Well, if you must know, I've been trying to make out the scars on my back. I can't see them. So I've been trying to feel my way about. But they may as well be written in Rashimi. Uh, do you want me to have a look? I... This isn't your problem, you know. I know. I'm making it my problem. Shut up. Turn around. Fine. The jagged script is definitely infernal. The language of the hells. But you can't make out its meaning. And? What can you see? I mean, you've got a nice butt. If that helps, I'll draw it for you, though. Hold on. I don't know. What did he do to me? I wish I knew. <sighs> what does it say? I have absolutely no idea. But it's no poem. No, it's not. Two centuries carrying this. And I can finally see it. <sighs> have you... Did s someone out there is going to be able to read it. I'm sure of that. And we'll find them. I'm sure. But what will it say? I don't know. Does it matter? Th thank you, by the way. You're welcome. This is... Well, it's something. We'll figure it out. I promise. Will we? Yes. How sweet. <laughs> uh, Lily can be sweet when she wants to be. Speak. Ooh. So there's this new one. These dreams linger in my memory. You think the strange figure will come back. Do I really? Oh, you said you were going to share your bone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's confront her about this. So I did. And he wanted only to talk. Uh-huh. You both lack imagination. Eye to eye with bliss. And you choose banality in its stead. Uh-huh. I chose the vampire. And I would do it again. I got to go. Well, all we wanted to talk. <laughs> Oakfather's blessings to you. Hey, Halson. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, at the celebration, I hope I didn't come on too strong. <laughs> there are few things that are too strong for me. Oh? And cast those regrets aside. You did not get caught up in the moment. You seized it. In other circumstances, I would have done the same. Like, with me specifically? i glad I didn't leave a bad impression then. A bad impression? <laughs> Impossible. This man is flirting with us, and I'm okay with it. Um, okay. We'll leave for now. He's got a lot of dialogue at some point. We well, need to go through it. Hi, Will! Um... What's it like being the son of a Grand Duke? Not so enchanting as you'd think. No? The poor tears, the cold wells. They were the blue bloods hosting the fancy balls and drinking from gold goblets. Father's the son of a blacksmith, born with barely a coin in the coffers. 
he made a name for himself among the Flaming Fist. Brave as Balderan, stubborn as a deep rofe. Daring, outspoken, but hardly posh. <laughs> I spent more time dueling with Father than I did rubbing elbows with lords. Not to say I didn't develop a taste for good wine and the talent for courtly dance. Wait, really? Courtly dance? Uh, and now you're the Blake. Good wine? I'll toast to that. No, I'd love to see a demonstration someday. <clears throat> it's been a badger's age since I've twinkled my toes. A drunk ogre could put on a better show. Ah, uh, you you dance like a drunk ogre? It sounds hilarious. I get the idea. I won't, like, so if we were going to go for a Will romance, I think I'd just try to, like, push this a little bit because it seems super flirty. But Lily, Lily isn't necessarily the most dance and happy of everybody. So we'll just, we get the idea. <laughs> it's for the best. I take a tumble and splat. There goes my good eye. <laughs> oh, poor Will. Gail? Tell me, what can I do for you? Um... Do you ever feel... If you ever feel the mad... No, you know what? That's for a different day. All of that? That? 100% for a different day. Did I talk to Carlac yet? What's on your mind? Not much, honestly. Um, that's good. Nothing important. We really need to sleep. Like, really need to sleep. Lady of Sorrows, guide us. Did you want something? I just wanted to say, I ah, you seemed intrigued by the Dark Justicars. I was. He mentioned Dark Justicias. That's what I meant. Justicias. Other signs of a Sharon presence during our travels. I'm not sure I can dismiss that as a coincidence. Okay. Uh, agreed. So we'll we'll definitely investigate that. Hundred percent. Question. I have a question. Good here. I hope. No. Okay. So if you missed it by this point, I'm sure it'll be like common knowledge. But I did release a video today actually for bg3 modding because bg3 mods have taken off vortex as mod support all that other stuff so i actually do have mods in my game um which is why like if you've probably here you know what let's talk to a star and i'll show you hello beautiful i love you so if you notice the uh this is gone and then if you hover away from it so it's there no it's not there no it's not so that's like modded in um with a UI mod and then there's like I have CC mods which obviously I can't use on Lily as of yet if anybody makes a uh, like character appearance changer for BG like mid game I'll probably edit Lily's hair at some point um but then there's also a clothing mod slash equipment mod and I'm definitely going to be going to get that right after we sleep so <laughs> I think we had other plans, but then also when I was editing up today's episode, I noticed when we went to pick up Withers, we had, I had not picked up a book. Um, and I was like, wait, what was that? Cause I heard the, like, you found something, but I didn't actually see it when I was recording. Uh, and I have since in subsequent playthroughs seen what it was. So we're going to go and pick it up now. Cause they're all kind of near each other. So we're just going to get like all of that done now. And then we'll figure out what to do next. <sighs> All right, Lils, let's go get you something pretty. Wait, you know what? It'll be easier. Um, bum, dum, dum. Uh, let's go. I think the roadside. <laughs> Honestly, either or for whether or not roadside cliff is uh better for this or not. Like, yeah, I definitely think this is it. So the. F this mod that I'm using for the equipment now, it has actually been around since early access. I think I used it way, 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 way. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, way back when in I'm early access. Sorry. I'm excited to kind of get it back. Try to keep up. Uh, until you can use. Okay. Oh, wow. 
I just want to talk. Can I talk to you? Away. Away. Okay. Uh, I won't hurt you. You're all the same. Too many of my kind died because of your spears. But not me. Bye. Okay. Well, hopefully he survives. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. Basket full of equipment. I'm so excited. I love these outfits so much. And I feel like these are all going to fit Lily a whole heck of a lot better. First of all, we're going to take this and so that way we can conjure it whenever we want if I decide to do that. But honestly, this is right here. I don't see myself needing anything else. So I like this outfit. I like how you can preview everything for like this mod, especially. I'm... Um, this is the, by the way, I will link these uh, mods in the vids description. But um, if I forget to, please remind me. I like this one a lot too. Mm -hmm. well, let's see, some of these are partially broken, I guess. Ooh, that one was cool. Okay, so there is in this one. Let's open you up. So these ones were cool. And then you can add more on top. Oh, I forgot they had the Gith Yankee. Um, honestly, I kind of like that one. Wait, was that, is that a skirt v-neck top? I think these are, so they're labeled very clearly, like how it has like the, like these are like the mini skirts and then you can like pair them and stuff. Sork, sork. I think this is the one that I normally, okay. I think I like the barbarian top. I am not going to lie. Uh, the stats of this armor are based on your armors. Okay. Cool. i take you. And then there's like top pieces you can pair with these, which I think... Ooh, wait, no, this one. Oh, wait, what is that one? Oh, those are the cloth pants. I think I like the leather pants in this game better. Okay. So let's do that for now. And then I want to go into... Um, crate of me is it? I didn't want to pick it up. Honestly, it's probably fine. But like, we don't have enough room. Oh, wait, what is that? When did we get that? Okay, hold on. Did it? Okay, you open. All right, leather. I. Okay, no, I don't want that. I want underwear drawer. Cloaks. Yes, I think. So it just takes up a slot. So, but we have these. <gasps> I like these a lot. Okay. Um, do I want that one? That one? I kind of like this. We'll take this one with us. We'll take this one with us. Um, they have the shoulder pads. I don't think we need the shoulder pads. Oh, and they have that. That dress of shoulder pads. Excellent. Also, there were gloves but i think we have nice gloves right now i am going to just take i think there's a pair of black wait are these oh those are just bracers huh yeah i don't think i'm gonna get rid of ours right now just because i really do like this stat wait 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 wait, wait, wait. did you see that they're rings oh <gasps> Oh, no. Oh, no. One of my weaknesses is, like, rings in games. That's good to know. But there should be glove box one. Should be just black fingerless. Yeah, I'm just going to take those just so we have them. And then shoes. Um, Do you have what I need? I was so excited to record today <laughs> because of this. I'm just like, yay, we get to do this. I'm definitely that person. Okay, Lils, are you ready? Are you ready, girl, to get the outfit to end all outfits? I hope so. Oh my gosh. I do like that on you a lot. Um, these boots are better for sure. Wait, oh no. What did we have for shoes before? I don't even think we had anything special. Okay, so then we could do that. Ah, that looks cool. Or that one. Like, there's, you can see that they're, like, slightly different. So there's that. Or that. I think for right now, I kind of like... Man, they sit one on top of the other. Really cool. 
Like that, it all fits together so well. Honestly, I think we can go with that. Plus, how do you feel? I think you look really pretty. But also, before we 100% decide, we've also got the barbarian outfit, which actually looks really good, especially for somebody like Lily. Um, I think that's the only other one we grab. Honestly, I'm leaning towards this right now. Well, this or this? Right now that. And then, so the gloves that we, you gain... Proficiency with long bows in addition, ranged weapon attacks that deal two additional damage. Yeah, I am think we're going to keep our gloves, like, these bracers, as much as they don't go <laughs> with the outfit. I mean, like, these would look better, but the, uh, the stats on them. I, for right now, though, am going to send to camp. Send to camp. Mm, send to camp. Just in case I change my mind later. That way, we've got everything that we could possibly need. I'm kind of surprised Gil can't eat this. <laughs> like, why do I have to say it like that? But I kind of sort of am. Uh, so we had mentioned also going through all of our inventory. Also, this is to conjure it. So I'm going to send that to camp. Uh, smooth start. At the start of combat, the warrior gains momentum for three turns. I, do I, who do I want to give that to? Hmm. Wait, is he still in his jammies? Okay. Um, I almost think I, I want to give that to uh, a Starian. Let's do that. Show helmet, hide helmet, hide helmet. There we go. Um, and then hot lid. No, that's no. Uh, okay. Jewel set into this necklace carved. Okay, honestly? Make friends. You can't use it? Yeah, you can. Make friends with the animals. <laughs> the shadow art's like, what are you doing? Why are you giving this to me? Uh, this is 5 to 10 damage. This is... Okay, no, that's still better. So, can shadow art use this? That's 5 to 10. 3 to 8. But I like the, the fairy thing but might be better like the damage is more honestly i'm gonna keep this in our pocket to be safe mm -hmm. wait do things that gail can snack on not say that anymore that's weird Is he not going to get... I wonder now if, like, after that last conversation, if he's not snacking on artifact. Because, like, I know this bow. And your sword. Hold on. T to inspect. No? Hmm. Unless now it's just down here. I, ge I guess I'll hold on to this stuff for now. Because, yeah, I remember all of this was snackable. I have to say it's snackable. Okay. Ah, oh, you look good. Hold on. Can we do a quick conversation? Just to see it. It's always a pleasure to see you sauntering over. Hi! Ah, oh, we look good. I like it. Okay. I'm really happy. Yep. She looks more like in like a outlander ranger kind of gal. Like I feel like Lily looks just more like she never wanted to belong any like it's with any milk. of those abducted did we loot no we you died with grapes how wait how did i miss his body before i don't know wait let's go this way time to reorientate myself with all of this i know we've been here like 4500 times too which is the most hilarious part also um raven <laughs> Yeah, and then maybe we'll do... Honestly, I'm going to wait now, just in case. The crab, honestly, is my favorite for the Conjured Companions. Okay, do this. So, here's where we're going to go. This way. I can't believe I forgot the... Uh... Or I didn't, like, loot that one 
thing. Also, I think I miss looting a couple of things. Because I don't have uh, the coins. So I definitely think there was a few things I didn't loot. But after this, right? Um, we've got either the mountain pass or this. We can find the crash. Rescue the Grand Duke. Basically, that's... Oh, that... Okay, his condition is only responding to treatment. We need to keep traveling. Okay. So he's done asking for snacks. Okay, that's good to know. Actually, that's really interesting. So he's done with the snackage. Let's see what this does. I didn't actually think you ever would be. I thought we'd be providing snacks forever. Okay, uh, this way into the crypt.